Progressivism is an interesting idea, isn't it? I think it's a very interesting idea. I don't think society is as progressive as we think we are, right? I'll give you the. Uh, I'll give you this. Uh, I think we've made some very nice advancements. We've made some really great advancements, right? Medical science and technology, lots of great advancements there, right? Because there used to be a point in human history where if you got a cut on your hand, they would just leave you alone on a rock, <laughs> waiting for the sweet, cold embrace of death. No prayers. Not even a goddamn sandwich. And if you caught, they would just bury you alive. <laughs> like, oh no, the devil's coming out of them. Just send them closer to the devil. <laughs> Today, if you cough, someone's got a cough drop, right? They got some orange juice, vitamin C. They quarantine you in a room so that it doesn't escape anywhere. That's amazing. There's some really nice advancements we've made. But when medical science and technology are only benefiting those at the top and forget about us poor people at the bottom, and you can't convince me that's progressive, right? right? Yeah. I think one of the best places we're making some advancements is late night infomercials. <laughs> and we're selling bullshit to insomniacs with three easy payments of $19.95. With a free gift! What's the free gift, you ask? Don't worry about it. Just don't question anything. Don't self-reflect, and you will get a free gift. You'll figure it out. <laughs> My favorite advancement is the buffet. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. The buffet has been advancing gluttony since 1939. That's when it was invented. Yeah, uh, the World's Fair in 1939. The Swedes brought it over. They called it a smorgasbord. It was a spread so good that America took it. <laughs> Which is sad because that means America didn't even invent its own obesity. Yeah, we just stole it from a bunch of other white people. Yeah, that's how, that's, that's how desperate for culture America was at that time, that we stole it from a bunch of white people. Right? It was the 30s. It was the Depression. Everybody was so hungry. <laughs> that's a, that is one of those things that we have made a lot of great advancements in, right? Food. Food is made one of the, is, is one of those things that's made like the most significant amount of advancements. Everywhere you go, there it's just larger and larger portions, but unhealthier and unhealthier more people, right? There there's more starvation in this country and larger food in this country. I don't know how that math adds up, but realistically, we're a country that's not very good at math, so I'll let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> Right? Everywhere you go, you're, you're just, uh, you know, like dinner tables, you're, you're supposed to go up and get seconds, right? All fast food restaurants want you to supersize it. Hell, the, the buffet is just a gluttony lunch special. That's all it is, right? Olive Garden right now has endless soup, salads, and breadsticks. Endless? Holy shit. <laughs> that is the black hole of portion control. Right? That is so much food that it bends and warps your sense of time and reality. It's ridiculous, man. The advancements we made in food. We have an entire channel dedicated to food. The Food Network. Yeah, and you know what half those fucking shows are? They are food contests at restaurants where a block down the street there's a guy with a sign that says, We'll work for food. <laughs> Yeah. We have a network that's turned eating into March Madness, and there's somebody on the side of the street saying that we will use that as compensation for labor. That is not progressive. Yeah. Socially speaking, I think we've uh, regressed quite a bit, and at this point, uh, we're playing catch-up. That's what we're doing, socially speaking, right? And if you've been out drinking, you know exactly how disastrous playing catch-up can be. Right? <laughs> Yeah, it usually ends with somebody crying and throwing up at the side of the bar. <laughs> Just blah. <sighs> somebody please hold my bad bud. Please. <laughs> somebody please hold my bad bud. And if you have good friends, somebody will hold your man bun. Despite the fact that a man bun holds itself. 